AI has finally gotten to the point where anybody can create their own anime or cartoons right now using AI. You can do a full video, including animations, audio, sound effects, and everything, and put it all together right now. Check out this video that somebody just created using only AI. Let's do it. So if you don't know, this is the very viral turkey sharpshooter meme where the guy basically almost won the sharpshooting event with absolutely no, it's this guy right here. He basically had almost no equipment, just put his hand in his pocket and almost won the event. So really, you know, went super viral here after the 2024 Paris Olympics. And this guy, OX Framer, by the way, all credit to him on X at OX Framer, check him out. He put this guide out and essentially what you do is you take any pic. So he took this picture of the guy here from the Turkey Olympics and he put it into GPT and asked it for Ghibli style, right? So this is super easy. All you have to do is go in, put an image into chat GPT, uh, make sure you're using the create image feature here and ask for Ghibli style and it'll go ahead and create this for you. Right now the servers are really slow. So this is taking a long time for me to actually generate this one, but you can see that it's doing it right now. Now, once you have these, you can actually come back and create a bunch of different scenes. So you can see here in step two, he went ahead and asked ChatGPT to give him different camera angles, right? So you have to have sort of a production mind here. So you have to have to have somewhat of an idea of what you're looking for, right? It's not going to do all the work for you. You have to have somewhat of a production mind. This is why I keep telling people, you know, AI is not going to fully replace all these people's jobs and everything like that. It's just going to make them a lot easier. And it's going to allow people who are creative to use AI to do really cool stuff. So this guy had a vision in mind, right? So his first vision was generate an image showing this guy from a ground level camera angle. So you can see he's got that ground level camera angle looking up at the dude. The second image here is generated an image from a bird's eye view with the camera angle, including the crowd. So it's a downward angle bird's eye view with the crowd behind him. And then the third one here is generate a close up image of this man, right? So this image is, you know, closing in on his face. And then the last one here is an over the shoulder view with the target in sight. Okay. So he took the first image re-uploaded that into ChatGPT and then asked it for all these different camera angles. Now, again, you have to have a vision here, right? This is, it's not gonna do this for you. You can't just go in and say, hey, give me four different angles, right? It's gonna come up with whatever it wants. It might come up with something good, it might not. So this is where your creative side has to come in and actually um, do the rest of this work. Now, once you do that and you have these camera angles, the next step is to use something called runway, okay? So if you don't know about runway, I've made a bunch of videos on this already. It's text to video, image to video, and it's really, really great. Now, I took a Ghibli uh, image here. So this is like another Paris 2024 meme. It's the girl who uh, from Australia who um, did the breakdancing competition, and a lot of people thought that she potentially sort of faked her way into this breakdancing competition because it was so bad. And um, she, you know, somebody made a Ghibli image here of her. So I uploaded it here and I actually just uh, asked it for her to, to be, let's see, walking forward and sitting down a little bit. And you can see the 10 second clip is her putting her hands down here, closing her eyes and, and sort of, you know, stepping downward. It's only a, a, a 10 second clip. And this is actually using Gen 3 Turbo. So I'm not using the latest version. For the absolute best results, you have to use Gen 4 for this. And he does mention that uh, in his thread. He mentions that he used Gen 4 for these animations. So if we come over to here, you're going to see that what he did with Gen 4 was he asked it again for very specific things, right? So you have to be production minded. You have to know what you're looking for if you want really, really good results. So he took the first one and he said, man, lowers the gun and uses napkin to remove sweat that appears on his forehead. Okay. So if we look at that one specifically here, you can see that he did that. Now he actually reversed this video. So lowers the gun and uses the napkin to remove sweat from his forehead. So I'm sure after he did this, he thought, oh, this would actually be cooler in reverse where he removes the sweat and then brings the gun up. Right. So again, you using some creativity in mind here, right? Not just taking what the, what the AI gives you and trying to, you know, throw it all together. So I thought that was really cool. So he reversed this first video. The second one here, the second prompt he did was, was the bird's eye view prompt. And he asked for people clapping. So the people actually aren't really clapping. They're kind of just like bringing their hands up and down here, but it's still a good shot, right? It's still a good shot of people behind him. Um, as the camera pans forward. And so the third scene here is he furrows his brows. This is the zoomed in one, uh, the zoomed in clip where he's sort of zoomed in, it sort of zooms in on his face and he just sort of furrows his brow a little bit and just kind of looks really focused, right? And then the last one is the man shoots the target twice and hits the bullseye. And you can see when you put these all together that it really does make a really cool scene, right? And this guy really, again, knew what he was doing and, and sort of had an eye for what he wanted. And then he put these all together to make the clip. Now, if we go back to the clip here, um, so let's just go to the end of the clip. And you can see that after he shoots, he actually added another scene here that he didn't mention, which is, you know, him holding. So again, I'm, I'm sure he just put this back 
into GBT, or maybe he took another picture of him and actually, you know, giblified it with him holding the uh, the second place trophy, right? The, the silver trophy here or the silver uh, necklace. And then, you know, holding whatever prize, whatever this, this box thing is here, right? And then he asked him to wave to the crowd and smile politely or something like that, right? To hold up the medal and then wave and smile politely. So he did add an extra scene here, which I thought was really nice. And it created this whole 15 second clip uh, in its entirety. So very, very creative work here. Now, the last piece of this puzzle is actually going to be the sound effects, okay? So 11 Labs, so he mentions also, he doesn't actually mention it in the thread, but if you come down, somebody actually asked him, what did you use for the audio? And he says, yes, I used 11 Labs for voice and some sounds, text to sound effects, okay? So I came into 11 Labs and I actually tested this. So if you come back, so let's just watch this clip one more time. Let's do it. So you notice that there's a crowd cheering in the background the whole time. The guy says, let's do it. They start clapping, but you still have that crowd cheering. So that crowd cheering lasts the entire clip, okay? He has the shooting effects, crowd cheers louder, and then you have some camera effects, right? Like camera snapping a picture, right? So he essentially has crowd cheering, man saying, let's do it, gunshots, and then the camera shutter clicking, right? So he came into 11 labs and basically asked for all of those. So I only sampled one just for this video, which is crowd cheering in the background. When you ask for this in 11 labs, it's going to create four separate samples for you. So this is the best one that, that I found of the group. You can continue to edit this, by the way, if you don't like the way this sounds, you can bring this out and you can actually continue to edit this. I'm going to ask it for different variations of this, but I thought this was okay. So you can hear the crowd sort of cheering in the background here. So, and then, you know, also you, you have the text to speech, right? Where you actually come in and actually create a text to speech here. So, you know, if you've never used, if you've never actually used 11 labs, it's really, really cool. You can actually clone your own voice. You can clone other people's voices. They have a massive amount of different voices you can choose from here. And they even have like a huge amount of open source voices by the community. So if you come to the community tab, there's tons of voices that the community actually created. If I go to the library here, collections, there's just like an infinite amount of different voices and also sound effects too right? Not just voices. So tons and tons of stuff you can pull here for sounds from 11 labs to put this all together. Again, you have to be creative here, right? You're not just going to take these AI tools and have it do all this stuff for you, right? You like I put crowd cheering in the background, I could have probably done a better job of prompting this to get a better result, right? And that's where again, you come in to really make this your own and make it better, right? And then you can if you put this all together, right, you know, you, you use Gen 4, you use Ghibli style, now you don't just have to use Ghibli, right? I'm using, you know, he's using Ghibli as an example here. And I'm following along with that. But I could do Simpson style. I could do a clay animation style. You can do any style you want, right? You could even come up with your own style. Like if you, if you're an artist, right? And you have your own style and you just want to save time, you could upload your own style here and start using your own style of images, right? And, and have ChatGPT generate images like those. So really the creativity is sort of endless, right? You can do this, take this in a million different directions. I mean, it's sort of up to you where you want to take it. Now there is a little bit of a controversy here specifically with Studio Ghibli, right? So Studio Ghibli is obviously a huge studio and, you know, ChatGPT really blew up right around the time they released this image model where, where everyone was, you know, Ghibli, Ghibli, however you pronounce that, was Ghiblifying everything, right? Uh, they were they were just making everything in that style and it really blew up. Sam Altman himself actually changed his profile picture to the uh, to the Ghibli style. And I don't know that they've given Studio Ghibli any money at all. They, you know, he mentioned at some point that he was getting over a million users a day or a million users an hour. Some insane amount of users were, were onboarded onto ChatGPT after this image release. That's how big of a deal it was. And it's not just the animations. They also do a lot of really cool stuff. I made a whole other video on that, designing stuff with ChatGPT. It's like two videos ago. Go check that out if you want to see that. You can create ads and a bunch of other really cool stuff. But the idea that, you know, he's sort of using this art in his own profile picture and people, uh, you know, I don't know that they're actually getting paid for this. And the One Piece anime director, One Piece is another massive anime, it might be the biggest anime in the world right now, to be honest. He's, you know, the anime directors basically said he's in despair over the Studio Ghibli AI trend and demands legal action. And essentially he can't, he went to X and basically said that this is wrong. So I'll just translate this post. Are there any Japanese people using this? This is an act to tarnish the value of the Ghibli brand, right? So he's saying this is tarnishing the value of the brand. He wants legal action to be taken. I don't want to see Ghibli treated so cheaply. Uh, so she said all these things. And then she also said, there's no way that Ghibli would officially get permission to this. This was without permission. Why is this allowed? Okay. Which I think is actually a good point. I'm going to Again, if you go to all these different styles, right, people are basically recreating these styles and the original animators are getting no credit for this, right? No credit for actually creating 
the original artwork here, the original creativity behind it. So a little bit of a controversy there. And if you're going to create your own animations, keep in mind that if you're using AI to rip off people's styles, people might get upset about that. I don't know if there's going to be legal action, but people might get upset about that. So a last little piece I wanted to throw in here because I do think it's important to keep that in context. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel for more AI tutorials like this, and please drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know if you think that this is wrong, if you think that this is headed in the right direction, the wrong direction. And also if you create your own stuff, drop a comment, let me know what you created. I'd love to check it out.